Well, first of all, Fabio, how are you? I'm very good, I'm fine. The things are okay. My family is good too, so everything is okay. And that's an important thing for you, family, family life as well? Yeah, of course, because in the bad moments, they are there with me, support me, give me the best words for continue to push myself, to give my, my best. So, because I normally I say in the good moments, everyone are there. But in the mo bad moment, some sometimes the people who expect who goes there, not is not there. So the family are always there. So this is the most important. Uh, the summer just gone. Was it difficult for you to to get to go through? No, of course it was difficult because not so difficult because I have the euros from Portugal. So my head is not about thing, not thinking about transfer about the window transfer. I have to focus more on national team, so I think if you don't have the heroes, maybe I still a bit more confused and uh, to think what what come. But I think with the heroes, the I don't I don't stay too much focus on that. But after heroes, of course, the a lot of noises. If I stay, if I go, what gonna what I gonna do? But after, yeah, I have some good points to here in Wolves to to stay. How close were you to, to leaving in the summer? Oh, really close. Of course, the, all the people, uh, the news come from, I think in the past year starts coming some news. Uh, my idea is not to, to, continue, to continue here. Of course, the people read this. But uh, after, of course, I have to come here from the preseason because I'm a Wolves player. I, I come here to see you, to training. But my idea was to waiting for some things to to go i can I, i'm not gonna lie i'm training in the preseason in, Alg in algarve with uh, lopetegui i can say some words to him too amazing coach i like to tr to train with him too he tried to speak with me to give me some good points this is one of the points to 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 stay to when uh, when i say to my agent i want to stay lopetegui was one of the the keys to to stay too but after he goes Matt Hobbs, one of the keys, key part of the of the project too, to stay. I think uh, the Wolves have a, a very good person behind of the of the club. I like the way he speak with me, the way he take care of me. Of course, the, my president, the president is is amazing. Always take care about me. Uh, Jeff Shea, of course, you talked about. Yes. Jeff, yeah. He take uh, he speak with me like like a son. I feel the love from him. So amazing. Yeah, but uh, I'm really close to leave, of course. My agent tried to see the best solution outside of Wolves because last season was amazing for me outside of the, the club. And uh, I want to continue this development to development to start to continue to continue this, to continue to play, to feel happy, to, to contribute on do my contribute on the team. But after these three points, I think the, and after, of course, with uh, Gary now, the coach is very good too. He gave me a lot of confidence too in some games. He put me in some games to start. He speak with me the way he play. We play very good. So I think the coach is the Matt and uh, Jeff one uh, and the fans, of course. of course. I cannot forget the fans, of course, because they always push me. But it's about that until last time. But until last time, we have that, that chance, of course. Uh, I will come on to the fans because I know the, the special relationship you have with the with the Wolf supporters. But just quickly on that, those four people you mentioned, June Lopetegui, Matt Hobbs, Jeff Sheen and Gary O'Neill. Aside from those four, was there any other reasons why you, you changed your mind and why you want to, to commit to, to Wolves? No, I think it was a lot of conversation with these four, with these four mm. people. To, more with Matt. Mm. Matt Hobbs, I think, was the biggest part of I stay here in Wolves. Because the way he speak with me, he tried to change my head, change my ideas. I, f I don't know if he, if it was not him, maybe I'm not here to speak with you. But yeah, I have to give credit to to Matt Hobbs because he's one of the best parts of this for us to hear. You know, speaking to you, having spoken to you a few times, and meeting you, and getting a flavour for what you're like as a as a person now. Do you need to feel loved by the people and the club? And that is a big part of, of why you're here now at Wolves. If you ask this question to all the players, they're going to say the same, of course. All the players want to be loved from the fans, from the coach, from the staff, from the people around the training run. I feel this, of course, but of course I feel more happy if I play than I don't play, of course. 
I'm gonna lie to you if I say I prefer to stay on the bench now. <laughs> of course, I want to play every game, I want to, to start every game, to contribute, to, to give my contribute to the team, to show myself, to, to show I can prove to, to myself, to, to the coach, to the people, because I don't have nothing to prove to the other people, but I, have, I want to prove to the coach, to give this to the coach too, to the Jeff, to Matos too, because they are the most important people. Uh, and Fabio Silva, Wolverhampton Wanderers number nine as well. I mean, that's uh, you know a big statement of intent from the club. <laughs> yeah, it was a problem too. At the beginning, I asked to the number, but they don't give me because we already know if I stay or not. <laughs> we are in these conversations. Only they give me the number nine if I stay. But I don't have the at the moment. Matt was asking me about if I stay. I don't have the hundred percent sure the answer. So we wait until I know the, the answer to if I stay or not. After I decide to stay, the Matovs and uh, some of Kitman, our Kitman, we take care of everything and they give me the number nine and I'm very glad and very proud. Now let's talk about the fans. Um, even when you're not playing, when you're on the bench on Saturday, the fans are chanting your name. Uh, regardless of whether you're on the pitch or not, the fans seem to want you on that pitch. Uh, how important is that for a young player and particularly a striker because it's such a, a high pressure position to be in? Yeah, of course, is what I say. The, the strikers always they look always for the goals, but I think if you see the football now, of course it's about numbers. But you have a lot of players; they do more than goals from the team. And sometimes our position is a little bit difficult on football because the people only look for us about the goals, and sometimes they don't look for our job or the moments we do to open space to the other people or our work. So sometimes it's a little bit not in a good position but I think uh, yeah the funds is one of the secrets too for me to stay because I feel if I ha play or not playing they support me they are behind me this is the most important because of course if I don't feel the of course I tell you the truth the, the games on the preseason uh, when I play they sing a lot of times to me in the final of the games all the time so this is one of the keys to, to me to stay, to give me this love for I say, no, I'm going to stay here to give this to them too. So, yeah. And for you now, the goal is to, to repay those people you've mentioned and the fans now, isn't it? Yeah, of course, but I don't, want, I don't, I don't feel pressure for, mm. for, for, for the score or something. I think in my life, the things always come natural. So the things are continue to come natural. If I focus on myself, on my work, on the training ground, in my house, with my people, after that, with the good energy around me, the things come. Uh, I'll finish with two final questions for you, Fabio. One being, what is your message to, to the fans for all of the support they've given you and your message to them going forward for the rest of the season? Oh, my message is they always can expect from me my best to run for, for the team, to help the team, to help the team with my movements, with my... I always try to try to, to give assists, to score, Sometimes when I miss, don't think it's purpose because it's not purpose because I think uh, I think on the pitch I don't think someone wants to score more than me. <laughs> so I always try to give my best to to score, to give assists, to do a brilliant game. So you can expect that until the final to protect the pack. And I will put you on the spot a little bit for your final question. You see yourself as a very ambitious person, someone who values family, all the things you've spoken about so far today. You've got three goals for the next year, for the next five years, and for the next ten years. Where do you see Fabio Silva and your legacy in, in football, whether that's at Wolves or elsewhere? My legacy, I think I want. I like to f think on the present. So the present, I want to Fabio Silva to to do amazing season, to help Wolves to be on the best position on the table, to help Wolves with goals, assists, to more goals as possible, more assists as possible. And the future, <laughs> we see after, I think the future is not important if you don't think on the present. So if the present is good, the future of course will be, has be, always be good. So I think how much I do on the present, of course it's going to be better on the future. So the present is the most important and the present is to, to win on Luton and score against Luton and give assists against Luton. That's a very sensible answer. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Fabio. I appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you. you.